He's here. Well, good morning. We're going to start out this morning like any good fishing video. You have to start out at Walmart. Now, we're not going to do a super hype video or anything, but I got eight up fishing over here. Um, we've been fishing the last couple of days, and um, we had a great time yesterday. Caught a bunch of stuff, but we were at the spillway, and uh, I'm like, hey, you know what? You should throw a trout magnet in here. And he's like, what's a trout magnet? I was like, <gasps> I'm shocked. <laughs> so, uh, no, he, he, he fished in, uh, you know, for uh, his, uh, in college. Yeah on the bass team and stuff so he, he he was catching more fish than me yesterday so he definitely can catch fish but um we're gonna go in, in walmart and get some trout magnets and i'm gonna like kind of also show like what i suggest for just a simple starting out kit like ultralight what you would need to get it and we're planning on going back to the spillway because there's a ton of little fish in there and um see what we can catch i think it'd be really interesting so it's let's, be cool. yeah it's i think it'll be fun so we're, we're gonna go in here and uh, i'm gonna kind of guide him what to get and this might help you also if you're just looking to get it started into like maybe ultralight or trout magnet fishing uh hopefully a good starter kit all right we're gonna see if they can if they got something that we can use i don't want to get like the just the dirt cheapest stuff i hate getting the really really cheap things like that i mean that'll work but We'll try to find something a little decent, but like staying within 50 bucks, maybe. First, we need to find trout magnets. And hopefully they have a good kit of that. Maybe they're down. We'll see what Yeah, it's probably gonna be with all this stuff. Right? Yeah. These are little beetle spins. Mm -hmm. Rooster tails. Hmm. This is the panfish. I don't know what a trout magnet looks like. Yeah, it's it's thinking. smaller than a um, like a crappie jig. It's smaller than a Bobby Garland. Really? Where are they at? All right, so they actually don't carry trout magnets at this store, but I have plenty. But we're still gonna get the stuff we need, and we have a couple options. Now here's the Mr. Crappie uh, stick, and it, it's a very ultralight, and it's it's only a twenty five dollar combo. And it, it'll work great. I know people that use it. I know it's people that use it and catch all kinds of fish, but for like, I, I just don't like buying the really cheap stuff just because it's just, I don't know. If you, if you, I fish a lot and if I'm going to recommend something to somebody, I want them to recommend something that's going to be like something they can catch a lot of fish on. So I think what we're going to go with is this lose laser speed. I know um, several people that have got this rod and it feels really good. It's ultra light, but it, it feels really good. It's $30. That feels really nice. Yeah, I have the bigger ones and I like it. So it's a five and a half foot ultralight and it's, it's a really good rod. And we'll just pick a reel from, well, I want a 1000 size reel because we're going to put four pound mono on it. And I got a couple loose ones. We could match it with it, but I think we're just going to go with the Shimano one. Uh, 1000 size Sienna. That's, um, it's about $60 for this combo. But it's gonna be a it's a good setup, you know. You can it can do a lot of stuff with it. So um, need that, and we'll just we need. I want four pound line. I like to use four pound mono. Four pound line. And they only have one. I usually use the trout magnet one, but they don't have any of that. So <laughs> four pound mono. Perfect. There it is, right there. I already have the trout magnet, so we're, we don't have to we don't have to worry about that since they don't carry them. What kind of what kind of place is this? So all right, we got the stuff. Let's go rig it up, go. get a spillway. Let's go catch something. Uh, what's there? All right. So it ended up being $70. You know, it may be pricey, but this is going to be a really good setup. I don't know what it was. All right, I got a couple of ultralights. This is the one I brought, and this is the one we bought today. This is a, the five and a half. Mine's a six foot. And uh, we got the little trout magnets on there, the black and green, uh, black and green sort of color. It's a 164th ounce jig head, a real small lure, but they really catch a lot of fish, and that's hopeful we're going to use and catch today. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, there's one. Hey, that's a little bass, I think. Oh yeah, a little largemouth. All right, we're working our way to that spillway, but we're gonna make a few casts. I got my first little fish. All right, we're up here and there's, there's a little fish over here. We just caught one, but I was getting some bites from my bigger lure right here and I'm interested to see what is gonna be in here. All 
Oh, I got one. Yes. That's a good one too. That's a good bluegill. <laughs> got it. Oh, we've got the best size out of the spillway, but yeah. Out of here. Oh, that's a pretty colored one. I'm gonna put them back over here on this side. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna feed you to the biggins. <laughs> that's what we. Yes, yeah, that'd be a good idea to like try to use these for cut bait. Yeah, Oh, oh, I had a good one. I think it was either, I think it was a crappie. Really? It was right down there. Man, I didn't, I thought it was stuck for a second. I was like, I saw him for just a second. I right, got him. <laughs> yep, they're down there. Yeah, they're sitting there. <laughs> they're like right on that wall. Like they're really tied up next to them. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Little bluegill, or no, red breast, little red breast. No, wait. Yeah, that's a little red breast. Goodness. <laughs> they hammered that thing. Another red breast. We weren't really getting much bites under the spillway. Well, we were getting a few bites, but it was real faint. And I, I had a good one, something came off, so. But we fished it for a while, we figured we'd hit these pockets here. Try to see what we can get out of these pockets. Oh, there's tons of fish right here in this spot. Oh, and they're coming for it. <laughs> this little corner here, there's like so many fish. That's a pretty good little bluegill. Oh, they're all looking over here. Man, there's tons of fish right there. <laughs> Hitting it right away. Looks like a lot of bluegill. Come on, take it. Got him. Dude. How do they live in these little holes like this? There's, with this many fish, it's crazy. They can just stay in these little pockets. Oh, what we got here? Oh, we got a little bass. Nice. There we go. Feels like a monster on this setup. Good little largemouth. Oh, he's rough looking. Hmm. Oh, what is that? I see a bigger fish. Oh, not that one. I saw something that was bigger over there. But there's so many bluegill over there. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is that? Oh, it's a crappie. That may be what I saw. I saw something with a bigger body. There's like all the fish are just really congregated right there. Add that to a, a black crappie. Add that to the list. Dude, I think they're all getting fired up too. Man, every cast now, they're all like just waiting on something to fall in. <laughs> Look how deep he took that. Ah, okay. All right, I can probably catch Oh, yes. Oh, I saw a big bass come over and swipe at the little one. I had just hooked a little bass and a big one came out of there. I may have to go to something else here in a minute just to see if I can get one of those bigger ones to hit. But I've really got a feeding frenzy going on right now. Over in that spot, there's just all kinds of fish. Oh, where's good fish? What is this? Oh, another crappie. Dude, I'm just gonna stay here and keep fishing. There's so much different fish in here. Nice crappie. Hope the sun ain't shining on the camera, but this place is loaded. 
Ooh, what is that? Another crappie? Man, that is another crappie. And another one. Oh, it's hard to stop. I want to go to another spot, but I'm just like, cannot stop catching fish. Actually, I got to leave here in a little bit. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Come on, come on, come on. Little bass coming, looking at it. Got him. <laughs> I just kind of, I saw him coming and I dropped it on the ground and just let him come over and pick it up. <laughs> That's funny. Chunky little guy. Oh, get in there. Oh, he's at 12, yeah. I better start. Yeah, it's 12, 15. Yeah. I didn't realize that late. Start working. Oh yeah, I got plenty. I think it'll be fun. That's like people always comment. Like, oh, oh, oh that's yes. That's a good fish. Oh. Could that be hung? No, he, he's on there. Yeah. Is that a bass? I think so. Me and Adam, we're, we're, we're picking up the lead. We're just talking about doing a giveaway. Oh, it is a bass. And I'm just casting. And I get the biggest fish of the whole trip out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. All right, I don't know if he's going to stay hooked because I've got this light set up. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh. One more cast. You just never know what you're going to catch. Nice one. <laughs> That's my biggest trip, biggest fish the whole time. Probably. Oh man, it's like a probably two pounder, I think. Yeah, no, it's two pounder. Dude, that's awesome. Well, that ends off. That's ultra light fishing. I, obviously, I wasn't using the trout magnet on this one, but I was just changing up stuff, and it sure was a blast to get that guy in. Plus the thirty fish or more that I caught already. Oh. oh. That's funny. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Dude, how come we couldn't get any of those yesterday? Oh man, it's hot out here. Okay, yeah. It's uh about the end of October, but it's like 80 degrees today, so it was a little hot, but dude, a couple hours of ultralight fishing was pretty fine. We caught at least I say 30 fish a piece. Easy. Um, you're gonna have to go check out his channel to see what he thought about the ultralight rod and the That's trout true. magnet. And he, so he really hasn't fished <laughs> with that much. So it was fun watching him, and then he and then he went on one side, and I went on one side. So I'm not gonna ruin it. You have to go check out his channel, and I'll, of course I'll leave the information in that. But I love the trout magnet; it's just a fun little lure. And I thought we'd catch a few more at the spillway. I was a little disappointed there. And then we went to those little other holes, and they were just loaded up. He's yeah, he was catching smoking. he was catching a lot of fish at one hole. I'm at another hole catching all kinds of fish. So <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and just go check him out. Sometimes when I think I'm done fishing, I'm not done fishing. I'm on my way home from North Carolina. I've been on like an eight day trip and I'm ready to get home, miss my bed. And um, so I'm, I'm traveling through, I'm three hours from how, my house. And there was there was this spot I was like, I want to kind of scout it out. I want to kind of just stop and look at it. It's a, a Greenway uh, park area and it was along the French Broad and man, I'm glad I stopped here. So I, I kind of looked it up real quick on All Trails app and I pulled off, it's right off the interstate and boom, I pull up right to this park and there's like four different kayak and canoe, canoe access points along the ways. It's, it's a really nice public area. I'm so excited I found it because I want to kayak this river. Uh, this is the French Broad up in North Carolina side. Um, so, uh, but on the other side over there, there's a little creek. And that looks more like my style for right now. This water is pretty big and it'd be fun to kayak or canoe. And I hopefully do that soon. But since I'm here, there's a creek over there that it just looked, it was kind of calling my name. So, um, man, I, it's nice doing these trips. They get it kind of expensive getting, I stayed in my truck a couple nights. I had a, somebody paid for a motel one night. Somebody gave me some, a little bit of money for, for a couple nights. And I'm about ready to get home, but I got to hit this up one more time. <laughs>